Hey guys, I'm back here to talk about more porn stuff. Of course, in any industry, there are going to be individuals who want to take advantage of a system that's in place. There are definitely lots of myths about how getting a scene and getting work may go down, and let me dispel some of those for you. In an industry where your job is to get naked and have sex with people on camera, that doesn't mean you have to have sex with everyone to get a job. Everything you do on set is something that you consent to. It's within the framework of the content that's being shot. But to get that job in the first place, yeah, sometimes there is an audition process. But it's not what you think, and it's not what you see in some videos. When you're entering adult film and you're going through these audition ads and casting calls and all that, you really have to trust your gut and know what you're comfortable and not comfortable doing. The sex that you have that you're paid for is a contracted scene that you do for a specific rate with specific talent. Red flags of illegitimacy may be a blatant disregard for testing protocols, a distinct lack of paperwork, especially when there isn't a concrete conversation as to what you're getting paid for this act and where this content is going. And if you're in an audition process where they say you have to have sex with us to have sex for us on film, that's probably not a legitimate thing and you should trust your gut on the sketchiness of that. However, there is a very real audition process for different scenes in different companies dependent on how big the film is, how big the project is. For instance, for a scene that I did for Wicked, which is a very big prestigious company in adult film, I had to read lines and prove that I was an actor, that I could play well with others, that I could ad-lib and be a performer when I am wearing clothes and not just being penetrated because the scene requires that amount of skill. Very recently, Adam and Eve had run video auditions for their new series called Fort, where you can find safe for work content focused on cooking. The link will be below. And I submitted an audition tape myself. I had a friend come over who is a videographer and shoot and cut this video of me making crisp. For those of you not in the know, I have a food blog. A food blog maybe if you want to check it out, it's down below as well. And here is what an audition can look like in adult film. Now know that this audition process is not necessarily the same audition process that you'll go through or see for every single company, but do know it is an option and it is something that exists in this form. Now every company is different. Some companies will have you come in for a go -sees. For those of you familiar with America's Next Top Model, it's when you go to the company and you fill out a fact sheet of what you're willing to do on camera. You do have pictures taken of your nude form. From there, the company has your body to review and a list of what you consent to do on film to see where you fit in their future shooting. What is not necessary is anyone soliciting you for sex or you soliciting them for sex with the idea that you'll get something out of it because you really won't necessarily. Remember, trust your gut, read all the paperwork, make sure that there's paperwork, ask questions. Never be shy of asking questions. You can tell a lot about an audition dependent on how asking questions is received. And good luck if you want to get into porn, but if you don't, that's cool too. I'm just here to keep you in the know. Thanks guys for watching this week's video. I'll be back next week with some more porn insight. And until then, leave a question, comment, or concern down below. The links that I mentioned will be down there as well. And until then, subscribe. Bye, you guys. Hi, I'm Mia Lee with Adam and Eve's Fort, and we're making mixed berry crisp three ways because who doesn't like a good three way?